All right. Hello, YouTube. So in this video, we are going to be trying to decompile and disable this really this called malware that we have. This is by the name of Luna Grabber. This is by Smug246. Now this this malware is absolutely horrible. Let me just spoil it for you guys. This is an absolute dog shit tagged with I don't know whatever whatever the shit this is tagged with. And yeah, it is absolutely horrible. No one's going to fall for this. <laughs> if they have any anywhere above than five or six brain cells, they're not going to fall for this shit. So yeah, just don't even try to use this on actual real people just use these or in, on npcs or like robots but yeah that's that's as far as you can take this real people aren't gonna fall for this shit but yeah this is marketed as the best python token grabber made the best discord token grabber made in python my bad um don't come for me i'm, I'm really sorry smug 246 but yeah this is marketed as the best discord token grabber made in python so we are definitely going to put that to a test and the issues on this thing are absolutely horrible. These, these, I don't, I, I just don't even know if these guys actually exist in real life or like, who are these people? Like this guy, um, this guy set up not opening. So this guy showed us a video of him double clicking the setup file and it closing, right? There we go. He's going to give the permissions and the file doesn't open and it goes to his browser and he writes out like the uh, not opening like <laughs> anything like that i'm really sorry for the for the disrespect i'm really sorry i'm just mad i opened like an, an issue on this thing and i was like your your shit is really bad just fix it up and this guy deleted my issue um called me a skid and yeah just i mean i don't know what to what to say for to say to this guy I, I mean i was pretty straightforward i was like hey your shit is pretty bad just fix this um you can implement like anything memory obscuration maybe maybe good bypasses maybe your malware if your um if your sussy scripts are going to be out for public of course they're going to be patched by almost all the entire antiviruses in the world right um so yeah that's that's the thing that this guy doesn't get obviously uh this entire thing is open source of course and yeah so anyone with like three brain cells four brain cells wouldn't fall for this if you're falling for this if you have fallen for this i'm really sorry for you we're gonna download the thing and Okay, first of all, I'm gonna disable my defender because this guy has marketed this as the as the like bypass like this this thing can bypass anything, right? This thing can bypass Windows Defender. This thing can bypass all the virtual machine runs, uh, debuggers, and we are gonna put all of them to the test in this video. So first of all, I have my antivirus up. Um, okay, I can get the file out, and we're gonna. okay so that didn't flag the antivirus for some reason now this is probably because i've done this about 40 times now am i recording okay i am recording i've done this about 40 times now i have <laughs> i'm pretty sure i've allowed the thing to open this let me see it real quick allow threads yep there we go i have allowed the this is the thing yep so we're gonna remove these real quick and then we're gonna check the thing out again. Because I'm pretty sure I did allow this once. So that's how the antivirus knows to not flag this. We're gonna delete this and we're gonna extract this once again. And there we go. The thing is detected. Even the source code is detected. I mean, if the source code is detected, how are you, how are you even gonna work with this? Anyways. Um, okay, so uh, how are we going to install this if the source code is detected? One thing you can do is go to Defender and just turn this thing off. Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Go to Manage Settings, turn this real-time protection off. And now you can delete this file because this is not going to have the loader thing that we need. We need, okay, this does has the thing. I don't know what happened, but yeah, we're just going to delete this. I don't know if there are going to be all the files in this. Defender probably removed a few files, so yeah. Now we're going to install this, going to go PowerShell, clear Python builder, actually before I do anything, I'm going to check the source for error. I don't trust the developer at all. I don't, I just don't trust the developer. I already have this one. I'm pretty sure this is the old one. I tried to modify this, right? There we go. Okay. It's a TK into thing, TK into thingy. This has requests, no socket connections, and a sub process thing to start the installation. I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
Okay. It is something. It is definitely something. But yeah, we are gonna go Python builder dot py, and we are gonna build this. And there we go. It is once again detected, and I haven't even started anything. Um, error with compiling file. Um, invalid argument. Run stole your shit dot py. Um. So this, I am guessing this probably made like a file by the name of stole your shit py and that didn't work so okay i'm gonna disable different once again just for this i mean at this point you guys should realize that this guy certainly knows how to disable defenders this guy's this guy just knows how to disable defenders i'm pretty sure it, it's it's just me it's just my system <laughs> oh my god bruh Look, sometimes you gotta pop out and punk niggas Like even if my mama fuck with you, I wouldn't fuck with you Go ask, me. nigga, I wouldn't share a motherfucking blunt with you And I wouldn't walk up on me if you ain't got your motherfucking gun with you I'm blasting, niggas go running in their mouth, you see what happened Nigga, I'm from this Alright, so there we go The thing is compiled, it has been Like, what? Two minutes? There we go Um Where's the thing? Stole your shit, stole your shit What? Okay, there we go There's the application, the beautiful the beautiful icon and we're also going to activate windows defender now is it going to detect this is it going to detect this it's not going to detect this that's that's fine all right moment of truth does this work we're going to double check this and let's just hope for the best is my defender disabled okay that that opened a few windows that crashed my default so this is a sign that something's been injected into the code and there we go we already have like so many threats. Yeah, Windows is yeah the defender is certainly okay. There we go. I, I think it is. Def, I think it is okay. It is not disabled. Windows defender is not disabled. There's Windows opening left and right on my system. There are like seven or five or six threats on my system. I don't know what to do with all of these, so I'm just gonna let them be. Um, but yeah, my defender is still up, bro. I mean, what? I did click the. Disable Defender, right? I'm pretty sure there was an option to disable the Defender. I did click it. Um, anyways, so we're going to close this. We're going to go back to this thing. And we're going to go Python builder.py. Okay, that thing just got deleted. Oh my god, that thing just got deleted. I think my Defender removed that. I'm pretty sure that was my Defender. I'm, 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 I'm very sure my that was my Defender. Oh my god. I'll have to build that again. Niggas, not like a niggas ain't like me, dope boy, white teeth, fit a hat. I was shooting crafts and playing spades when you play pity pat. I was taught a nigga put his hands on you, then hit him back. And if he acting like he wanna put his hands on you, then hit him first. I was hopping out with trash bags and bitches full of work. You can ask the Alright, once again the thing is compiled. Now this time I'm not gonna I'm not really gonna mess with this. I mean we already saw what happens, right? I messed with the thing and this just the defender just completely fucks this up. This didn't disable the defender at all. Uh it did inject into my Discord, I'm pretty sure. My Discord is infected, I'm really sure. But yeah, so this is what this thing does. Now, if this cannot disable the defender or like just protect itself, I'm pretty sure the other stuff that I clicked for security are gonna be shit as well. So I'm just gonna throw it in the detected easy thing and just check this. Okay, so this is using the linker is Microsoft linker. That is nice. Compiler is the basic C C++ compiler. And it is a 64 bit application. Okay. We're gonna open a 64 bit debugger and throw this in there. Okay, now if all the things are working, like if this works, this should close my or debugger or this should not execute in my debugger right now let's just put that to the test my discord should not crash if this like okay that's fine that's fine debugger stop that is fine we're gonna do this once again we're just gonna spam this button okay so that that is working nice so what is this guy even using to bypass this i mean if this is a self-written module i'm gonna praise that but if it is like is debugger prison, I'm really gonna cry myself. I swear to God. Please don't be debugger. Please don't be debugger. I'm gonna 
Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know how to. I don't know what to say to this. I mean, this can be bypassed. This can be bypassed easily. I can simply go like assemble, move the main register is RAX. I can move an RAX and I can go zero. I can go for this. I can like NOP this, NOP, 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 and then I can return, of course. Yep, there we go. There goes your anti anti debugger check. Okay, now for the injection part. Um, so it is injected into my Discord. So, for example, if I change my Discord stuff, it's gonna send this webhook once again. Oh my god, dude. this thing is so fucking scary. I mean, this is this is this is definitely a scary site to look at. Uh, no matter how shit the logger is, no matter how shit anything is, this is definitely a scary site to look at. All right, so no matter how much um, I can I can criticize this all day, but at the end, it's because this is in Python. So yeah, that's that's basically why this is so shit. I can go and I can tell you guys how you can fix this as well now. So if you if we just open the source code, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have that injection bit somewhere. We can just read that out. Might take me some time, but yeah, um, I can find this. Skibbity, skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity Fortnite. We can go to app data, not this. We can go to app data and we can go to local. Now, in this, you're gonna search for Discord. Uh, there we go, Discord. We're gonna go to the latest version. So, for example, in my case, the latest version is this one or this one. I'm just gonna check both because I don't really know. Um, we are going to go to modules, then we are going to go to the desktop core folder. Inside this, we are going to open this. And this is the thing that, sh that you should be worried about. So this is the file that you should be worried about. Most of the times, people just love to mess with this file and add random stuff into this. Like some JavaScript malware or logger. Because every time you open Discord, Discord loads all the modules that it has. And that's where... The modules are stored so yeah every time you open discord all these files are run and so yeah if you just <laughs> enter anything into this file like this <laughs> your data is going to be compromised this is the thing that is the injection bit this is the injection bit so the this thing is injecting into this so if you ever just get hit by this uh, weird malware just go to this folder just delete this entire thing, save the file, or I would say just delete this, because in any case, if there's a like if there's some error with Discord, if you delete some files that's not supposed to be deleted, that were not supposed to be deleted, you can always reinstall Discord, right? All right. So this app, this folder is empty because I already have a new version of Discord. So we deleted the modules, the JavaScript file inside the modules. Now we're gonna close Discord, and we're gonna reopen Discord. So I'm gonna guess this is gonna repair itself. This is not going to repeat itself because it is open in my thingy. Okay. Discord. I'm going to guess this is going to... Yep, there we go. So, once you remove the files, it's going to crash itself. So, there is... This is when you know you need to install Discord. So, just go to Discord. Click on install. Find Discord and just uninstall this thing. So, that's how Discord injections work. I mean... Yeah, that's all there is to this stupid malware. It's first of all, I mean, for starters, this is detected. This is detected almost on every system, almost on every Windows. I don't think there's going to be a world where this is not detected. So if you just find at the right time that the thing that you just ran was a malware, you, you are very safe to go. You can simply change the tokens on your system. You can change the password of your accounts. That's going to change your token. And then you're going to reinstall Discord because the injection thing is a bit annoying so yeah that's pretty much all that i had to cover in this video this is an absolute pile of dog shit. i don't know how to how to explain this there's not a place in this world where this is gonna work and yeah see ya